resolutions. They do that. First day. Um, me personally, it can happen. New Year resolutions, you gotta swallow them. New Year, new me, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. It's not a, thing. It's not a limited time to start. Here's what I think. My check, my check. My dogs are barking like crazy. All right, what's up, y'all? This is Victoria's Vic. I hope you had a good Christmas. I know I did. My dad got me this mic and this Pray for Atlanta hoodie. Pray for Atlanta by 1K if you and Zay told from Drop January 19. Make sure you listen to that. But we're ending this year out of 2023, entering 2024. And the topic that comes up is New Year's resolutions. Some of us have one. Some of us don't have one. Before I tell you what I think, I'm going to tell you what some of my peers think about it. So let's go to them. I'm recording? Yeah. Yo. Oh. I believe you can start over in the new year. Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your name, Steve Harvey. New Year's resolutions can be beneficial to some people, but you want to try something new or become a new person. It's not a limited time to start. Like you can start whenever you want to start. Like, no, no, I don't. I feel I don't. Do you? Um, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like New Year, New Me. I do not believe in New Year's. I think, you know, you should not wait until the New Year's to change yourself. You can start now, you know? Start today, start today. If you want to start tomorrow, start tomorrow. Um, New Year's revolutions. I personally don't believe in you. It's also sometimes not healthy to have the mindset that you have to wait an entire year to get yourself together. Exactly, exactly. Um, resolutions. It's a pretty good thing, you know, you, you look forward to the future. You know what I'm saying? Just be good, be positive, going into the year. New Year resolutions, you gotta swallow them. They say, like, say first day, they're gonna, like, eat more healthy, you know, for the gym. They do that first day. And I think that if you start, like, today, you don't have to wait a year. You set goals for yourself. That's all it is. New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions is good. Yeah. Well, I, can't, man. Man. Also, I think I, I really love 15 pounds. That's all. It really works. Like, you gotta put your mind to it. You do the best that you can. Most times, you're not even gonna complete those goals, to be completely honest, if you wait the whole year. Keep it on stay consistent. That adds up like years, years, years. Um, but you know what we're saying? We take on those victory channel for it. And eventually there will not be any time left to complete those goals. So Yeah, yeah. The son of LeBron James? Nah. You don't believe him? Nah. New Year, New Me? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. You, you, know what I'm saying? you cut people yeah, off. Come with me. You, you cut people off. Yeah. You gotta hit that. You gotta hit that. You gotta hit that. for the New Year. Thank you for your time. You gotta hit that. I'm listening to him. Thank you, Victor. You gotta hit that. So those are their thoughts on New Year's resolution. I like their opinions and they have some good points. And here's what I think. I do believe in New Year's resolution, honestly, because you enter this new year and you have these dreams, these aspirations that you want to see yourself achieve. The thing is, you have to have the right mindset. Jay-Z said, knowing and doing are two different things. Let's say you have an assignment to do. You know you have to do it, but you don't do it. You procrastinate. And we procrastinate all the time. That's just us. It's normal for us. But you just end up delaying the assignment and you put your grade at jeopardy. I remember the Bible verse that said, faith without works is dead. And basically what that means is, when you have growing faith, there's works to back it up. Otherwise, it's dead faith. What I'm trying to say is, if you have faith and the right mindset going into 2024, I feel like anything is possible. When I think of 2024, I think of Kobe Bryant because he wore 24 in the later parts of his career. And if you're a sports fan, you know that Kobe had this drive to win. He called it Mamba mentality. It's all coming together, right? 24, mentality. What I'm trying to say is, I encourage all of us to have the right mentality going into 2024 and beyond. Like 2025, shout out to 2025 by the way, class 2025, best class, 2026, 2027, and beyond. But that's all for me. Tell me what y'all think down below about New Year's resolutions. Do you have one? Make sure you like, subscribe, once again, comment, share this video, turn post notifications on, and then I'll see y'all next year. So, peace.